you've spent a lot of time dividing your customers into types and classes, and you created all of your income and expense accounts so you can track where your money is going. All of that setup in the beginning comes to fruition when it's time to run a report. Then you can truly see the big picture of how your business is doing. I'm going to show you how you can really customize your reports in the next video. But for now, QuickBooks comes with some built-in reports that you can use immediately in the Report Center. Get there by clicking Reports on the top of the screen and choosing Report Center. If you're looking for a certain report, your best bet is to choose what department that report is going to come from, whether it involves banking, employees, payroll, purchases, or sales. It defaults to the company and financial reports at the top. There are two types of reports. There's a standard report and a detailed report. The detailed reporting includes each line item transaction, so you can get that final summary figure. So you can scroll through this list and see the available reports that you can choose from. When you find one that you want, Double click on it and it will run that report. This is a standard profit and loss report. And you can see here the date that the report is running from. It's currently running this month to date. You can change that date range at the top by clicking on the calendars and the dates will change on the fly. You can also use this pull down. For example, this fiscal year or even yesterday. You can also add columns. I'm going to click the drop down next to Show Columns. You can scroll through this and see the available columns that you can add. For example, Item Detail. It changes the report on the fly to show me the detail of all my products. On the top left hand side of the screen, I can click Customize Report. From here, you could change to the Filters tab and select a filter. I could choose to filter my report by class. If I select Class and then choose the drop down, here's where I can see the two uptown and downtown classes that we created in a previous video. I'll click cancel to close out of this. Anywhere I see a magnifying glass icon, I can double click on it and it will take me directly to that report detail. In fact, I can continue to double click and it will take me directly to the transaction itself. I'll close out of this invoice. Finally, I can print my report from the top of the screen. I can choose to print the report or I can also save it as a PDF file directly on my computer. I could also email it or export it directly to Excel. I may even want to comment on this. All the way on the left hand side, I'll click comment on report. I'll get little bubbles next to each item. If I click on a particular bubble, I can comment on it. I'll click the blue save button and I can see that my comment has been added to that line item. I might want to schedule a report. If I click reports from the top of the screen, I can choose scheduled reports. From here, I can choose schedule setup. This is going to allow me to schedule reports, including ones that I custom created. I'll close out of everything right now, and I'll say no to save my commented report. I'll also click no on the memorize report dialog, Depending on how many reports you have, you may have to navigate a bit to get back to that home screen. In this chapter, I'm going to show you how to work with a report completely.